Alright, my name is Vicki McKenna. I teach at Moffin Creek Public School, grade 6. And my history with Chromebooks and Scratch has kind of developed last year. I went to a course and I thought, okay, I'll try it in June. And we did a rotation reflection project. Um, went really well. This year I decided that I was going to up the ante a little more. I talked to my kindergarten friend who we're buddies with. And I wanted to bring Chromebooks and digital technology with our buddy time. And they started with Spheros and I thought that's great. How can my grade sixes add to that? So we talked about creating video games. I know nothing about how to create video games in Scratch personally. So when I don't know something, I go to YouTube and I learn how to do that. So I taught the kids, I found some great tutorials. We walked through very basic how to move our sprite, step one. And I found a few really great tutorials. And I explained to them that when I'm learning something as a learner, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask an expert and then I'm going to go to YouTube too to check it out. So being that we're all experts in the class, we used each other throughout the process. My kids actually love the video games. They uh, stay in at nutrition break, the bell would ring to go out and they would look up and they'd be like, was that the bell? Can we please stay in to finish our work? And they just, nobody went outside, they just wanted to keep working. The engagement was at a high level, they're super excited today. The assignment was for them to meet with their kindergarten buddies and kind of do an interview with them, find out their interests, what kind of video games they do like right now. And then they were challenged to create a video game based on their buddy's interest and their buddy's level of video game experience and their level of coding a video game. And from there they created a video game and today we're going to do our first beta test. We're bringing our video games up to our buddies for the very first time to let them try it. We're going to come back as a class after and debrief and talk about what went well, what hasn't gone well and where are our next steps. Just like they would um, in the real world with a real video game. When you're uh, programming. Uh, we've had a lot of great successes and we've had a, a lot of challenges, a lot of speed bumps, but we're learning through failure, which I think is the best way, and we're having fun. Hi, my name is Dakota, and I'm a grade 6 student at Moff Creek, and I made a game for my kindergarten buddy. And uh, tell us a little bit about the theme of the game. Well, it was sort of like a platform game where, sort of like Mario, where you, there's a little toad that jumps around and tries to dodge all the objects that kill you. That sounds fairly involved. How much coding was involved? Uh, a lot. It took me a while, maybe about a week to make. There was a lot of code. Now, today you had a chance to show uh, your game for the first time to your kindergarten buddy. Um, were they able to work the game? Oh yeah, they did it pretty well. They they wanted me to make it a little bit easier because it was a little bit hard for them, but otherwise it was pretty good though. Okay, so you're reflecting on the level of difficulties then. Yeah. So do you think you would um, maybe try to introduce different levels of difficulty in your game? Well, I sort of already have that, but I want to make it a little bit so it's not like super hard for them. Great, so you're making some adjustments. Well, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Hi, my name is Maya, and I'm a grade six student at Mother Creek. Um, I have coded a video game for my kindergarten buddy, and the, um, the way I came up with the idea for that game was that while we were talking and I didn't get very much out of her. She said that she wanted a Doc McStuffins game. So I created a memory, like, kind of card game, like a match pairs game. And she liked it. Some of the feedback I got was that uh, she wanted some of the characters to be a bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was a lot of times that it didn't go very well. Like, I ran into some problems. But I worked them out, and eventually, and eventually, um, it became a pretty good thing. She liked it, um, so I'm just gonna take her feedback and put it and incorporate it into my later drafts. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your coding experience.
Field. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I'm working closely with Vicky McKenna, who's a grade six teacher, and we are learning buddies. Our learning buddies have only met a couple times, but on our third visit, our grade six friends have come to uh, bring a video game they've made specifically uh, for our, our kindergarten friends. It's so amazing. Uh, in our first two meetings, they kind of got a feeling about their buddy and what they like, and they went back and, and made a video game for them. So this is our first meeting today. It's going so amazing. The grade sixes are and learning and even tweaking right in the class right now, tweaking their games to make it better for our, our, our little friends. Uh, so the, the little friends, our JK, SK friends have just, it's been so exciting for them and they look forward of course to the next visit for the new improved game. Want me to help you with this? Hi, my name is Danica and I'm a grade 6 student at Moffat Creek and I made a game for my kindergarten buddy. So what was your game about? It was about one a unicorn going after another unicorn trying to shoot it. Wow, and uh, what programming language did you use for the coding? I used Scratch. Scratch? Now today was the first time showing your game to your kindergarten buddy. How did that go? Uh, it went okay. We ran into a few bumps. Okay. So what did you do? Were you actually trying to change the program right on the fly? Yes. Yes. And? Um, it worked out. It worked out? Well, that's good. So you made an improvement with uh, feedback from your buddy then. Yeah. Great learning experience. Hi, I'm Ashley from Moffat Creek Public School and I'm in grade 6. Now, Ashley, you've recently been involved in a coding project for um, kindergarten buddies. So tell me a little bit about the project that you developed. I made a scratch game where you have one side of a game and you have to get to the other side without touching any of the other Shopkins in the middle. So how complex was that to do the programming for? Not that hard because I had was going to do a connect the dots game but it wasn't working so I just switched to get another game. Okay, so you changed strategies. Uh, maybe tell me about um, when you get stuck with a coding um, challenge. How did you move ahead? Uh, I, when, when I was doing the coding, for when you touch the, you go back to the level, if you were already on level one, it wouldn't do anything. So I was trying to figure out what you could do with that. And how did you solve that problem? Well, I kind of just made it, like, go to the beginning again, like the, sh like the title page. Okay. Um, did you get hints from classmates? Were you able, did you look stuff up on coding sites or YouTube? Yeah. Or you asked your teacher, what strategies did you use? I used my classmates and a lot of videos and my teacher. Oh, a variety of um, supports then. And how did your kindergarten buddy like their game? Not too much because they were getting mixed up with the controls. Like the, like the side errors, they were getting them mixed up. And well, today was the first day, maybe just a little bit more practice. Yeah. Okay, well thank you for sharing your coding experience. we just saw in that classroom is the transition as a teaching profession from being the expert in the class, from basically all knowledge has to go through me to, and bestow and blessed upon the students, to 
being a lead learner alongside of the students as well. So when I talked to Vicki about what sort of instruction happened for Scratch for her, she gave about an hour of direct instruction about how the system worked, and then the rest of it was exploratory learning from the students, and she worked alongside of them to learn the process, and pretty amazing results. <laughs> I'm gonna go.